it's a very damaging report. People will rightly be angry by what they've seen in the report, what they've heard in the lead up to this. There's further pictures showing unacceptable behaviour by those at the very top of government and senior civil servants. Uh, and there's really damaging aspects about how some junior staff uh, were treated. Uh, and it's right that the Prime Minister has apologised for that and, and everything uh, in the report, but it doesn't take away from uh, the very damaging nature uh, of what has been revealed in the report and the anger people will rightly feel because at the time that the events were happening and as described in the report people were at home in lockdown following the guidance that the government had asked them to follow to the letter of the law. Well I've said um, previously that the Prime Minister's position was untenable and I only changed that because of the situation in Ukraine and sadly since the report has been published the situation in Ukraine has not changed. Uh, indeed just yesterday President Zelensky was speaking about the greater support that he needs from allies uh, across the world and the UK has been one of the strongest allies and indeed President Zelensky has uh, singled out the Prime Minister and the UK Government for the support uh, his country have received uh, in terms of military assistance, in terms of sanctions imposed uh, on Russians and it's important that we continue to offer them our fullest support and my concern is that uh, a leadership battle at the moment would uh, destabilise those efforts and only help Vladimir Putin. You know my position in terms of uh, withdrawing uh, my letter to the 22 in light of Ukraine is something that is not agreed with by my colleague Tobias Elwood as the chair of the Defence Select Committee, but is agreed with by Jeremy Hunt as a former Foreign Secretary. So these issues um, divide opinion. And I understand that people listening to this uh, or reading what I've said, some will agree with me, some will disagree with me. Um, but that's the position we're in, where I think we still have to have all our focus on supporting uh, the people of Ukraine and changing Prime Minister right now would only help Putin and wouldn't help President Zelensky and the people of Ukraine.